Mark chapter 6, verse 7. And he called unto him the twelve, and he began to send them forth by two and two, and gave them power over unclean spirits. He gave them power over demons. Jesus Christ gave them power over evil spirits, over the forces of darkness. He called his disciples one by one, he, he, by two by two, and he gave them power. You need the power of God. Even the disciples of Jesus Christ could not demonstrate the power of God until Jesus Christ gave them power over unclean spirits. You are facing night attacks because you don't have the power of God. Receive the power of God. Receive that power in Jesus' mighty name. You are facing light oppression because you don't have the power of God. You are a weak Christian. Today, God will turn your weaknesses into strength. Receive the fire of God. Receive the power of God. Jesus Christ gave power. You need to have power. You need to be given that power. Because even the demons that are attacking you, it's God that created them. So you need the power to overcome them. Whosoever is born of God overcometh the world, and this is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. Evil arrows are able to, 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 to attack you because you don't have the power. When you have the power, the arrows will bounce back to sender. Receive that power of God, receive that fire of God, receive the anointing of God. Jesus Christ Himself gave His disciples power. Therefore, maybe one of your prayers should, should be. God, give me power. God, I want your power. The money sponsor sickness has still manifest in your body because you don't have the power. Once you have the power, the Bible says you shall track among snakes and scorpions and overcome every power of the enemy. You need that power. And today as we cry unto heaven, you shall receive the power of God. You shall receive power over sickness. You shall receive power over every infirmity. You shall receive power over affliction. You shall receive power over the demons. You shall receive power over forces of darkness. You shall receive power over principalities and, 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 and spiritual forces of darkness in high places. You shall receive power over the wickedness of the wicked. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. No matter the conspiracy, no matter the manipulation, no matter the, the enchantment that has been done against you, all you need is power. It will work. Once you have the power of God, Surely they shall gather by not by me. Whosoever has gathered against you shall fall for your sin. Receive that power of God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So many times there have been attempts to, to, to suffocate my, my life at night. The forces of darkness will just come like an hurricane. Um, I'm sure they have decided in their evil kingdom, they have decreed that it is tonight that this person must die. But the Bible says, when the enemy shall come against me like a flood, the Spirit of God shall rise his standard against him, and he shall run away. All I need to say, even in the midst of those storms, is the blood of Jesus Christ in Jesus' name. And because of the power of God in me. The Bible says, you dear children are from God, and you have overcome them, because greater is it that is inside you, and aid that is in, in the world. The wish that will kill me has not been born. The demon that will suffocate my life has not been manufactured by, by Satan. So, because of the power of God inside me, they cannot, they cannot, you know, the Bible says, touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. He suffer no man to harm them. He rebook kings for their sake. Saying, touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. Receive the power of touch not. Receive the anointing of touch not. When the enemy comes like against you like a flood, the Spirit of God shall raise, raise his standard against them. Receive the power of the Holy Ghost. Receive the anointing of touch not. The power to overcome every evil arrows. The power to trample on snakes and scorpions. Receive that power. Receive that anointing. Receive the power of God. Today, Jesus Christ shall give you power. Over every unclean spirit. That shall be your testimony. And you shall manifest that. You shall manifest that power. In Jesus mighty name. Amen.